Ladies and gentlemen, over the course of a few days of not uploading a Chicago Bulls video, there has been a lot of talk and a lot of rumors about free agency, about trades, and about the draft. So, of course, there is a bunch of things to talk about. But today's video, I'm going to go back into the NBA draft, something I have not talked about for a long time because there's been rumors that the Chicago Bulls might look to draft up this year so without further ado let's talk about the nba draft and let's talk about what the bulls will do with the fourth or could be higher overall pick let's do it What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video in terms of the NBA draft and if the Chicago Bulls are indeed seeking to trade up for either the third or second overall pick. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below who would you trade to trade up for the NBA draft, third or second or maybe even first. And who would you give up? And also, would you want to trade up, especially if you're looking for someone that's a, that's probably going to go in the top two? It's a very interesting conversation. The Chicago Bulls, I honestly, I'm not going to lie, I never, ever, ever expected the Chicago Bulls to look to trade up in the NBA draft. I thought we were, targeted, uh, we were targeting Denny, and I thought Denny would be available with the fourth pick. But maybe we are looking for another option that could take us to another level. Who really knows what the Chicago Bulls have in store, but that is the rumor. We are looking to go to at least third in the NBA draft, which means we would have to trade with the Charlotte Hornets. If we're looking for second, we'd have to trade for the Golden State Warriors. And if we're going for first, we would have to trade with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And all of these teams are looking, a lot of these teams are looking to win now. The Warriors are win now. The Minnesota Timberwolves, I don't believe, are. Uh, I believe they're in the same situation as us. I believe they're ready to take the next step and maybe a player that we give them could do that. And uh, the Charlotte Hornets are definitely in a rebuild. So, the Warriors is something that I think is extremely interesting. So I think they would probably accept any trade we offer them. But reality is, with the Chicago Bulls, do you want to see us go up in the NBA draft? Would you like to see us get to the second overall pick in the NBA draft? Would you like to see us get to third or first in the NBA draft? And would you be giving up a good player in order to do such a thing? With the NBA draft this year, Especially this year, it's been rumored that it's not as good as the the past few years before it. It's not as good as last year's, not as good as the year before, not as good as the year before, before that. You get the picture. This draft has been a lot of unknowns, a lot of question marks, and a lot of people that are saying that the first pick or even the second pick might not be as good as, as most picks in the NBA draft of last year. The people are saying this. You look at the talent. You look at the names, you like the names in there. Obviously, Lamella Ball is a massive name. Wiseman's a massive name. Edwards, you have Denny. Denny's a massive name in relation to the Chicago Bulls. They're massive names, but overall, this draft class is considered very, very weak compared to previous ones. So would you want to risk going up further in the draft this year solely to, to get a higher pick in a weakened draft? Now, in my opinion, if the Chicago Bulls... There's only one way I see this going if we're going to trade up. If we're going to trade up, we're trading up for Wiseman. I don't think we're going to get Anthony Edwards. I think the Chicago Bulls are solely very, very um, content and happy with Zach Levine, even though there has been trade rumors for Zach Levine and Michael Porter Jr., which I might talk about in another video. I think the Chicago Bulls are extremely happy with the way that Zach Levine has been going with this franchise so far. And with that being said, I don't think we're going to go and draft Anthony Edwards just to basically replace Zach Levine in the future. I don't see that happening. Maybe I'm wrong. I do know other people would love Anthony Edwards, and um, that's fair enough. He's a great player, but I do think Zach Levine is probably the way to go. But Wiseman is an interesting topic because Larry Markkinen, for a lot of people, is not safe for the Chicago Bulls team. And making a Wendell Carter video only a few days ago, people have their mixed opinions on Wendell Carter as well. This team is definitely not safe in terms of trade rumors. Everybody on this team is probably likely to be on the trade on the trade arm block, except for Kobe White. I think everybody else definitely has a chance of getting traded this season. So with that being said, would you get rid of Larry Markkinen or Wendell Carter, the two suspect players that a lot of people have mixed opinions on? Would you give up any of those two players for and the fourth pick for a Wiseman or even for an Edwards? Maybe we do go for Lamelo Ball. Whoever we are targeting now, 
In order to discuss this, we need to look at the teams that are ahead of us that we could potentially be trading for. With the Minnesota Timberwolves, they have Carl Anthony Towns. So the center position is very locked for them. But their power forward position is something that I believe they could have a massive, massive, massive influence. If we were going to give them Wenzel Carter, who wants to play the power forward position, or Larry Markkinen, who wants to play the who plays the power forward position for the Bulls and the fourth pick for their first pick, I think they would snatch that up in a heartbeat. Absolutely, I think they would snatch that up in a heartbeat. Because the reality is. As good as they are, and they do need a shooting guard as well, I'm not going to lie. They do need a shooting guard, so maybe they just won't pull that trade. They could probably get a shooting guard in this NBA draft, or even just a, a, a good point guard. Maybe they do get a Denny if we don't go after a Denny, and that can fill their position for them. But Larry Markin, in my opinion, is something that the Minnesota Timberwolves would absolutely need. They need more shooters. They need someone that is versatile and that's skilled and that's talented. They can't put all the pressure on Carl Anthony Towns and the and D'Angelo Russell at the point guard position. They're going to need shooters around them. And Larry Markin is definitely one of the best big men shooters that you will probably see in the NBA so far in this in this league. So I think the Minnesota Timberwolves is something that we could definitely be looking at and saying we could make a trade. So would you want to? Larry Markkinen and the fourth pick for a first overall pick Minnesota Timberwolves and maybe a player as well obviously not a dick obviously not they're one of their best players and we're not going to get Carl Anthony Towns we're not going to get D'Angelo Russell from them but maybe we can get a decent role player and and go after Wiseman and move Wendell or Lowry could remain at the power forward position we just make this is just hypotheticals by the way with these these are not something uh, I don't I'm not in the know or anything but it's a big chance that something like that can happen, even with the Golden State Warriors. I believe the Golden State Warriors have said multiple times they're not after Wiseman. And what are they after? Are they after the Lamelo Ball? Why would Lamelo Ball want? Why would the Warriors want Lamelo Ball? Why would Lamelo Ball, Ball want the Warriors? He's not going to start there. He's not going to get much game time. You're Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins. That team is set in terms of the guard and forward positions. But why don't they want Wiseman? There's been big talks that the Warriors will not trade Wiseman. Why? Why would they not draft Wiseman? So, in my opinion, if I'm thinking in my head, they're probably going to go after Denny. Maybe the Warriors are going after Denny because he's probably the most skilled player for the Warriors at the moment. And he could probably play multiple positions for them. Do the Bulls want to make sure that they are the ones that get Denny? Do they go and trade for the second pick and give up an asset? Like a Larry Markkinen, like a Wendell Carter. I think Wendell Carter would work so well for the Golden State Warriors. It's unbelievable. But would they? Would the Warriors do this deal? And I think they would do the deal. I think they would. I think the Warriors would love Wendell Carter. I 100% believe that in my mind. The Warriors would absolutely love Wendell Carter. He suits everything that the Warriors are doing. They go small ball. They can play big with their other centers. Draymond Green can can um, take a break from the center position because he's ultimately a smaller center than Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter can shoot the mid range. He's a decent shooter, and overall, he plays amazing defense. I think the Warriors would thrive with Wendell Carter on their team, and plus, he can run the floor very, very well. So. The Warriors would probably do that deal as well. And I think I think the big one here is the Hornets. What would the Hornets do? Because I think the Hornets, besides the guard position, they need a bunch of positions. I, I don't I think um, Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham is probably going to be their backcourt, which defensively is a big struggle, but offensively it's not bad. Um they have decent they have decent forwards, but I think Cody Zeller, you could do better than Cody Zeller. And I think Bismack Biombo Bismack Biombo might still be on that team. So you could definitely do better in that center position. I don't know what we're gonna do in terms of the Hornets, because I think the Hornets are the ones where we don't know what the Hornets would want. Obviously, they don't want a guard, but they could go after a forward again, and they could go after another center. So the, Warrior, the, the Hornets may as well trade up as well. I think the Hornets are looking to trade up as well. So I don't think the I don't think the trade for the Hornets will be ideal or realistic at all, to be honest. And that's been the big one as well. We're looking to move to the third spot. That was the rumor. But I think if we're the Chicago Bulls, we can go higher than the third pick for a better deal and we'll most likely get accepted. So this is the video. This is the video. This is the NBA draft. The Chicago Bulls rumors of drafting for a higher pick, a second pick, a first pick, or a third pick. We don't, we, apparently we're not settled with the fourth pick. But in my opinion, in my opinion, the fourth pick is just fine. I would not get rid of Wendell Carter at the moment because he's still on a rookie contract for multiple years. 
I would not get rid of Larry Markin because I still think he has a future with the Chicago Bulls. I think he could very well do a job, score the ball, play some good offense. Hopefully he improves defensively, but that's a question mark on his game. I would not get rid of any of these players for a higher pick because the reality is, as I mentioned before, this draft is very, very weak considered the, considering the other drafts that's been before it. And as, as harsh as that may be towards this draft class, that has been rumored, talked about, and discussed throughout the entire year that this draft class is not as strong. There is no guaranteed star to come out from this draft class. Wiseman looks good, but there's a lot of weaknesses to um, Wiseman's game, including him thinking he's a guard. Um, there is a big, big, big question mark on LaMelo Ball at the moment as well about his jump shot in the NBA. That's a high draft pick that we're talking about. People are still unsure of what Denny can be at the highest level. Everyone's comparing him to Luka Doncic, but maybe he just isn't that type of player. We don't know. There is no guarantee. There is no Zion Williamson. There is no Ja Morant where you instantly think that they would come in and click. There is no player like that in this NBA draft. So why would I risk the fourth pick, which is still a very good pick? Most teams would die for this pick. The New York Knicks would have loved the fourth pick, even though they were rumored to get higher. The Pistons, who fell down dramatically, would love the fourth pick. You have teams like Atlanta. Well, I think if they got the fourth pick, would have been absolutely amazing because they would have taken the next step. The reality is this pick is a good pick. And I don't see us wanting or, to be honest, needing to trade this pick plus a Larry Markin or a Wendell Carter if for, for Wiseman or for Anthony Edwards, who we just don't know if they're going to be good enough or even a star in this league. So I think this is a risk that's not worth taking because the fourth pick, in my opinion, is a pick that we could do damage with if we pick the right choice and if the right choice presents itself. So the only way I see us doing this trade is if that we're trying to ensure we get the right player. And if that's Denny, maybe we go for the second pick to make sure the Warriors don't get him or something like that, something around those lines. But to be honest, the fourth pick, in my opinion, shouldn't be going anywhere. I don't care if it's higher or lower. This fourth pick is meant to add to the team that we have. Larry Markkinen is a good player, and he can be better than what he was in his second season, and he could definitely be better than his third season. Wendell Carter, in my opinion, has untapped potential that's unbelievable. I've talked about Wendell Carter last in the last video. He has the potential to be our best player, and I 100% believe that in my heart. He might not be the, the versatile star like a Zach Levine that can just shoot from anywhere, make any bucket that he pleases, but he could be a star in his own way. And that could be unique, and that could be something that a lot of NBA teams will follow afterwards because where a lot of teams are playing small ball centers now. Look at Bam Adebayo, Draymond Green. I mentioned it before. I don't have to say it again. Wendell Carter fits that mold. He might not be as good as those players, but... Over the line, over a course of time, he might become better than those players. Who knows? But the reality is, I would not risk this. I would not risk this. So if I'm the Bulls, personally, I would say I don't want to trade for the I don't want to trade higher. But again, if you don't trust Larry Marketing, you would do this. You would do this if you don't trust Larry Marketing. If you don't trust Wendell, you would do this. I wouldn't do this personally, because I trust these players. Again. In a year's time, we could be looking back at this with all those draft players just being all-stars and maybe we regret our decision. But at this point in time, I'm going to say I don't think we should be considering trades to go up when it involves Larry Markkinen and Wendell Carter or Zach Levine or Kobe White. If you're talking about Thaddeus Young, Denzel Valentine, Chandler Hutchinson, you're talking about the role players, the bench players that in my opinion, can do good for the Chicago Bulls, but ultimately are not the future, then we could consider it. But I don't think any team would consider trading their high pick for Thaddeus Young, who is on the is on the latter side of his career, or Denzel Valentine, who's the biggest unknown on the Bulls, or Chandler Hutchinson, who even though he's impressed, he just doesn't seem to be a good shooter at the moment. So in my opinion, that is where I'm going to leave this video. I think... If the only way we trade this pick is just to ensure that we get the player that we want because we believe that it'll go, they'll go higher. I don't see us doing this to get a different player. Like if Denny, if we're going to get Denny, I believe we're only trading to make sure that we get Denny. And I don't think 
I don't think that's the way to go personally. I don't want to give up a player to get another player that's still question marks over both of them at the moment. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is a good deal for the Chicago Bulls to trade up, get rid of Larry Marker and Orwen Dow, who in my opinion will be the targets for a lot of teams in the top two? Or do you think that we should stay away from all trades considering the fourth pick? not giving up our big assets for the for the draft that maybe we consider looking at talent already in the league or should we just stay away from most of those trades in general at the moment and just focus on the draft and see what happens after that i don't really know personally i can consider trades for Larry Markin and wendell carter that's players that are already in the league but i don't want to risk it on a draft that's, that's supposedly one of the weakest drafts in, in the nba so right now in the modern history I don't think that's going to be worth it, but maybe I'm wrong and it's okay to be wrong. If I am wrong, that's fine. I, I can fully understand and admit when I'm wrong. If I am wrong, then I will be happy to be proven wrong because in the end, Chicago Bulls should know more about their franchise than I should, even though I'm a, bit, a big fan of the Bulls. So I hope that they get it right. I trust them if they do do this deal. I'm not going to throw up. I'm not going to throw, um, throw everything on the floor. I'm not going to start raging and screaming. Because I'll trust them. But my opinion, I think we should stay away. Just my opinion. This is the video. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video talking about some free agents. Take care and pick. Peace.